hello welcome back again to another video in this video we're going to look at the november update of CapCut for pc which comes with motion tracking so we're going to look at how we can use that motion tracking in CapCut. so we have a video clip here on the timeline let's create a text so uh, let's uh, click here to create a text and type in our text so here we can type in our text and I want to change the effects to uh, this color here so we can see clear right above there. You can always reduce it down, something like that. Once we have that, um, let's uh, bring this all the way, the duration to be equal to the duration of the clip. Up above here, you can see one of this is tracking. So let's click on tracking and here is our track, uh, motion tracking. So once you click on that, you can see this little yellow little uh, box here. And once you place it and it automatically senses the uh, motion or the object and uh, place it according to. But you can always resize this. And you can see the little plus sign in the middle there. What you can do is bring this plus sign all the way up here. And then uh, let's reduce this down just to track the head. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Uh, if you want to track the whole body, it's up to you. Just want to just track the head now over here the properties you can see the direction here it says board now board means uh, if your play head is somewhere in the middle and you just went ahead to track this uh, it goes to the end of the clip and then uh, go back again to where it started and then go back with but you can always change uh, for example if you are at the end of the clip here you can always change to go backward or if you're in the front here you can always change to go forward so this time we're gonna go forward now you can see the scale here following tracking object uh, with the scale uh, what it means is uh, as the objects uh, move away from the view uh, the tracking also becomes smaller but uh, if you want to leave it as uh, uh, not to go with the size of the motion or the object you can always put this one off okay so now let's just leave it like that and then that's all we need to do uh, not much here just uh, click on the start to track it down now once it's finished i uh, will go back again and play to see how it looks like okay so it's done now uh, you can see this one uh, we use the uh, tracking with scale uh, so what it does is uh, it tracks and as the object moves up far away it becomes smaller and it moves back in front or close to the view or the camera you can see that the it becomes bigger so we're gonna do this again and this time we're gonna uh, put off the scale here so let's just do a tracking again like the whole body of this uh, motion object here the moving object this little boy and um, let's put up the scale and let's move forward now let's start Okay, so it's done now. You can see that uh, we just put up the scale so the um, text that we used to track the boy is uh, still the same size. Okay, so that's how we can use the text here to track. Now let's use a little um, artwork that I have created, a little transparent um, emoji here. So let's bring this little emoji at the top here and uh, let's make it duration to be the clip and uh, let's just resize this little emoji here and place it right up there selecting it then go to the tracking and click on the track and uh, let's place this uh, right in the center there and move this one down like this and uh, I'll go forward again now let's time let's do the backward thing so let's just from here I just want to put off the scale so let's put off the scale I think I want to enlarge this little bit the uh, emoji there so let's just bring it like that okay let's go back to tracking and uh, that's it now let's track backward so in the direction let's go backward and uh, let's start okay so we are done now let's play that and see so you can see it's done done nicely tracking this little boy here with this uh, little angry emoji up there okay so that's how we can use the um, motion tracking uh, in uh, CapCut, uh, the November update. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you back again in another video.